Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penge and welcome to Rain on Your Parade. So I imagine we've all been in a situation at some point in our lives where something we've planned or something we've been looking forward to has been entirely ruined by the weather. And of course I live in the UK, so that happens an awful lot. We're used to it over here. But I was thinking something like, you've arranged a lovely garden party and you've put a lot of effort into the garden party only for it to be called off due to the rain, or you've planned your perfect, beautiful outdoor wedding, but you were forced to flee indoors because it began to pour down. That sort of thing. I think we've all been there in some situation or other a bit like that. Well in Rain on Your Parade we get to experience what it's like to do the ruining of such events because we play as a mischievous troublemaking cloud that goes around the place raining on people. And it's not just a boring ordinary cloud. Oh no absolutely not. If we look here it's a totally adorable little cardboard cloud with a face and it's kind of floating about the place on a couple of strings and it's all very lovely. It's all very lovely. And this this is huge by the way, this is very important. The cloud can wear hats. So the little adorable smiley face cloud can put hats on, which is completely brilliant. I'm utterly sold on that. So it looks marvellous. It looks like a marvellous, colourful, fun, chaotic game. I think it's a sort of puzzle game. So we go to different levels and each level has a set of objectives for us to complete before we can move on to the next one. And I'm very much looking forward to this. It looks really, really good. It looks very, very silly indeed. I kind of like this sort of thing. And also, by the way, the menu screen that we're on now is entirely interactive. So let's rain on this person here. Let's just uh, position ourselves over that guy. And there we go. We can rain on him and then he's going to run around a little bit and we get a happier face look where we rain on people. It seems like we enjoy it a lot. There we go, look. There we go, smiley face. Let's rain on you as well. There we go. Oh, you're... Oh, crikey, you're destroying the... Okay, I mean, I was going to say let's go forth and let it rain, but I mean, yeah, don't run off with the start button. Hang on, wait there. Oh, no, the whole menu's falling apart. Right, okay. <laughs> Before anything worse happens, let's just uh, let's just get on with it, shall we? Let's just uh, go forth and let it rain. Okay, so the story is that there is a granddad telling a story of a cloud to his grandchild. So here is that particular story, I think. Once upon a time, there was a small cloud with a big dream. And there is our cloud friend having a dream. Oh, that looks fun. Cloud friends. That looks nice. To find a place of old folk tales where clouds can roam free. That sounds like a lovely place. Yay, they're raining on people and rain on anything they want at any time because surely that is the dream of a cloud. So it packed its bags, whatever bags a cloud might have, and set out on a world trotting journey. <gasps> this is very exciting. To find the mystical... The mystical what? The fabled, the fabled what? The legendary, the legendary what? Seattle. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but there we go. Okay, we're going on a journey to find the mythical fabled Seattle. Right you are. Come on then, cloud friend. Let's go. And the first level is to ruin a wedding, like we mentioned on the intro bit. But here we go. We've got to get this done. So we want to get to Seattle. And to get to Seattle, we have to ruin somebody's wedding for some reason. I don't know, but whatever the case, who am I to question the wants and needs of a cloud? So what have we got to do? We've got to soak the bride and groom. A star means the objective is needed to beat this level. So we've got to soak the bride and groom, but then also we get to soak all the humans as well. And there are 24 of those. So bride and groom, obviously two of those. 24 humans that we also need to soak. Yeah, okay, let's give it a go. So there we are. Okay, so the bride is coming down the middle. Ah, it looks like on the right we have a certain amount of rain. So we can't just rain forever. There is a certain limited amount of rain. Okay, so rain on you, rain on those presents. There we go. So we've got a couple of people rained on there. And then I think if we just go along like that, just expend quite a lot of rain on getting all that done. We've completed... Oh, we've completed one of the objectives. We've completed... Oh no, knock all the chairs down. Was that an objective? It must have been a new objective. Right, there's people over there that are in sort of need of being rained upon. You need to be rained... Oh, there's somebody there. Hang on, there's somebody there. You, rain upon that person as well. Um, who else isn't rained on? You, you, get you rained on as well. And there we go. That is it. We soaked the bride and groom. Sorry, bride and groom. Then we soaked all the guests and then we knocked over all the chairs. <laughs> so there we go. The next level has been unlocked. <gasps> and if we look there in the bottom left near where, where it says end, it says decor unlocked. And there's a hat. Can we please put a hat on our cloud? Can we please, please put a hat on the cloud? Okay. What does that? Can we pick that up? I want the hat. How do we wear the hat, do you think? Oh, look, this is like the world map. So there you go. We've ruined the wedding. So what is next? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Let's do a little bit of rain on that and see what happens. Can we have our hat on, though? Cloudy. Cloudy, help. Oh, no. It's like a kind of a dumpster fire thing. It might just be a dumpster 
but these humans keep setting me on fire. Can you please put out all the fires and teach them a lesson? In return, I promise to take some cool photos of you in action with the photo mode. <gasps> Check out the prompt on your screen when it appears. Okay, so put out all the fires and so call the humans. Okay, right, hang on. That person seems to be on fire, but okay, we'll do that. And then we'll put out, let's put out the dumpster fire because he's our friend. Okay, oh my goodness me. E okay, everything is on fire. All the things are on fire. Let's just go over this side. Let's try and put the fires out over there. Put the fires up. There's a human down there. Right, we are running out of water a little bit. Get you covered in water. You down there. You need to be water as well. Um, you, you need to be, you need to be rained on. Ah, okay, right. So we've got all the humans rained on. Now we just need to actually put all the fires out. We have got limited rain, however. Okay, right, hang on. What's photo mode? Okay, do we want to do this? Took a cool photo. Okay, what do we do? We just sort of move about the place and then take a screenshot. Okay, is, is, is that a good thing? Okay, how do we come out of this? Ah, right, okay, exit out of that. And there's one tiny fire just there. And I think that, oh no, there's still a fire just there. We can't quite see it because I think there's a car in the way. There we go. We put out all the fires. We soaked all the humans. Next level unlocked. And we've unlocked another bit of decor which is like a fireman's hat. How do we put these on? How do we put on the decor game? I want to, I want to put a hat on. That's what I want to do. How do we do this? Um, there's a giant cloud just there. Oh, oh my goodness me. Hello, gigantic cloud. Oh, who's that I see? A young cloud? Yes, hello. Hello, old cloud. Who am I? Why, I'm Papa Cloud. Papa Cloud. <laughs> a cloud as old as time. Hello, Papa Cloud. Yes, I was there when the first memes were invented. Ah, so long ago. Oh, those silly badgers. <laughs> I hope you'll listen to my words of wisdom. As you progress through the world, you might unlock some fancy hats. That, I mean, really, that's all I'm doing this for. And to find Seattle. But really, it's all about the hats. How does a cloud wear a hat, you might wonder. Yes, I'm wondering that. Why? Simply by entering the cloud house. We have a house. This is amazing. Go on, give it a try. Okay. Where's the cloud house? Ah, over there. Custom we can customise our cloud. <gasps> We've got a little house. Penge's homely abode. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. So there's the photos we've taken. There's a little fireplace. I assume we can rain on the fireplace and put it out, can we? Can we put the fireplace out? No, not quite. Okay. Face. We get to change our face? No. No, we don't get to do that, do we? Oh my goodness me, we get to draw our face. Okay, right, hang on. How does this work? Oh crap, right, the brush is massive. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, what have we created? <laughs> it's some sort of terrible thing. Um, do you know what? I'm, I'm quite happy with... Oh, hang on. Right, clear that. I'm quite happy with his default face. Can we just... Can we leave? I don't want him to have a kind of a face that we draw. I like his default smiley face. Because um, I don't think we can change colours or anything. So we can't make him, you know, geek cupboard corporate colours. Um, no, I I'm all good. There you go. We'll just have that. Yeah, we'll have his, his regular smiley face. However, the big thing. Decor. Here we go. Hats and accessories and colours. Uh, the, oh, it's going to rain soon cloud. A pink, it's like a cloud during the sunset. We can have a pink cloud or a crazy green cloud, a blue cloud. I mean, that's quite corporate. That's quite nice. But then... A hot, that's kind of hot pink. It says there, I only want to see you bathing in the purple rain. Purple rain. But I'd say that's more hot pink than purple. That's kind of an orangey colour. I mean, I do love a hot pink. How about we have that hot pink? We haven't got any accessories, but hats. A top hat or a fire hat. It's got to be the top hat. Got to be the top hat. Okay, this is, okay, right. Is this, is this the best game of the year? It probably is. Look, we're a, we're a pink cloud wearing a top hat flying about the place. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's go back and uh, let's go back and see what we can do next. What is our next level? Thank you, Papa Cloud. Where's Papa Cloud gone? Oh, I want to see Papa Cloud a bit more. So we've got that level there, or it looks like this level over here, and I don't think we can go over there, can we? No, we've not unlocked that bit yet. Um, okay, some sort of beach levels. Okay, what about this one then? This looks nice. Let's go to the beach, so call humans, and avoid the sun. Oh, the sun's over there. The sun is like a thing moving about, look. I love cloud. <laughs> Someone's got a thing saying I love cloud. <laughs> Hi. Yep, I can see why. Right, the sun's coming this way. Right, get away from the sun. Soak those people at the back. Soak you over there. Yep, get get you done. Come this way. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, there's one person down there. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Right, hang on. No, no, quick. Oh, no, the sun. Right, hang on. Come back this way. We need to lure the sun over here. 
And then when he comes over here, we'll just come around this way, get that person wet. Apparently there's one per oh no, they're drying off. Are they drying off? Where's the person that isn't that isn't wet? Hang on. Does that pause the game? No, it doesn't. Hang on. How many humans are there? There are two. There are two that are apparently not not soaked. Oh, okay. Where are they? Is it you? No. Where are the two people that aren't soaked? Everyone looks rather soggy to me. Um, okay, is it the Isle of Cloud person at the back? No. Where are the final two people? I don't know where they are. Um, can we tell if people are soaking? They look soaking. Maybe they're behind something. Maybe they're behind something. Oh, they're there. How can I not see them? For goodness sake. There we go. Right, sort that out. You're soaking wet. You're soaking wet. How can I not see them? Oh, well, there we go. We've soaked all the humans and we've avoided the sun. And we've now got ourselves some sunglasses. Joe, you know I'm okay. I'm okay for sunglasses. I'm okay for those. I, I like the fact that we have a hat on. That's good. We only got the two, the two stars on that one. We didn't find the additional kind of secret mission or whatever. Okay, let's go to here then. So what's this? Like a desert thing. The dust. Protect the bomb. Help it go boom, boom. Is this Counter-Strike? <laughs> this is, this is D-Dust from Counter-Strike. Okay, if you've never played Counter-Strike, you won't know what this is. But yes, this is a level of Counter-Strike. This is DE Dust. This is a relatively famous Counter-Strike level. It's a wonderful map. It's a wonderful map. I used to play you know, original proper Counter-Strike back in the day. But yeah, this is these are the um these are the counter-terriers come to defuse the bomb. So yeah, in Counter-Strike, you have the two teams going up against each other. The baddies plant the bomb. And then the, uh, the goodies have to try and defuse it as one of the ways of uh, winning the level. But yeah, this is... This is... <laughs> This is very silly. The bomb is the bomb is taking its time, isn't it? Hang on. Rain on you, lot. Rain on you. Rain on you. No, don't defuse the bomb. I've got so much water going on. I've got loads of water. Hang on. I can just rain on the rain on the bomb. Just keep raining on the bomb. How long does the bomb take to explode? It never used to take this. Look, there's so many people coming to defuse the bomb. Oh no. He's defusing it. They're defusing it. They're defusing the bomb. No, get away from the bomb. Get away from the bomb. Just keep moving around like that. And there we go. The level is done. That was that was unexpected. I was not expecting a trip to Counter Strike there, but okay, fine. <laughs> We've protected the bomb. This is brilliant. This is amazing. Right now, can we go over here? Yes, we can. So we're coming out of the sort of the deserty lands over into this place here. Looks quite nice. Little sort of town area, like a kind of a little sort of square. Cloudy, cloudy, help! Hello, frog friend. Those humans took away all the trees. You need to help us. Oh, who am I? I'm Froggy, of course. Well, of course, yeah, that would make sense. Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous video game. <laughs> don't act like you don't know. Rivet? I never heard of it. Hopping across a road, hopping across the road, avoiding cars at snow tomorrow, just frogging around. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was um, it was called Toda. Yeah, I remember. I was on my way back to my pond when I stumbled upon this desolate park. Please, grow as a beautiful garden. I beg you, but spare the children so they don't know any better. Ribbit. Okay, what have we got to do? Don't soak any people, soak all the lamps, and grow a beautiful garden. Okay, right, but don't get any people wet. Uh, okay, soak all the lamps, that's fine, we can do that. That should be that should be easy, so we'll do that. The lamps are getting wet. Okay, now the, the ground, like the grass looks like, kind of like sort of kitchen paper. I think what's happening is, because we're a granddad telling the story to to a child, to a grandchild. I think these are kind of, all the levels are made up of the children's toys. So we're kind of, and yeah, that's where the clouds on strings are made of cardboard, because we are actually moving the cloud around the place and kind of playing the game, I think. Yeah, look at that, we're just sort of, oh, hang on, we can replenish water, can we? Oh, well, that's quite good. Okay, well, let's get all these things wet. But yeah, I think that's what's going on. And that's why some of the things, yeah, that's why the, um, let's soak that and soak that. That's why the levels look like they're, yeah, like it does look like it's kind of paper and stuff at the bottom. Oh, human there. Don't want to get the people wet. Don't want to get the people wet. Okay, right, hang on. We can go all the way up there and all the way across there. That's fine. We can rain on all of that stuff. There's nobody up here, so this is all fine. So yeah, rain on that. And then rain down here. There's nobody coming down here. Right, we're out of water, but we can restock on water from the well, which is lovely. Oh, I think we got a person wet. Oh, botherations. Okay, no. I think we'll have to try again. I think we have to try again. We failed on do not soak any humans. Oh, okay. Do we not just get told off for that? Oh, okay. Well, we can't complete the level because we've failed the goal. Do we need to just... What do we do? 
How do we do this? Do we end the level and try again, I imagine? Let's give it another go. Okay, here we are. Right, we're back again. We've restarted the level. So we can do this bit up here. This bit up here is fine. That gets us quite a lot of stuff up here sorted already. So there we go. Lots and lots of lovely kind of uh, lovely trees going on up there. And then, yeah, we'll get these things wet. There we go. So the lamps are now dealt with. Right, can we sort that little bit out? Yes, we can. Top up on water. Right, go. There's no people across here. So sort this bit out. So there we go. Top up on water. How are we looking? 43 out of 75 for Grow a Beautiful Garden. We've not soaked any people. We have not, however, got all the lamps sorted yet. So there you go. There's one lamp done. And then we'll grow a bit over here. There we go, look. There we go. And, oh, we've uncovered a secret goal. Fill the fa oh, fill the fountain. Yay, that would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? Right, a bit. We can put a bit of stuff down there. That looks nice. Oh, look, and the trees look like sort of balls of wool or whatever. Oh, this is brilliant. This is wonderful. Right, there we go. How near are we? 64 out of 75. Right, this bit down here looks pretty empty. We can get this done. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Don't get that person where though. And just down here. A little bit of space down there. And then we're sorted. We didn't soak all the lamps. I thought we did get all the lamps. Evidently not. Complete all the objectives to unlock the... Ah, so you have to complete all the objectives to unlock your hat or accessories or whatever. Um, do you know what? We're okay for now. It's fine. It's fine. We'll go to the next level. If we feel like we need a change of hat, we can always come back. But there we go. That was the garden. Oh, oh, hello, Cloudy. Hello, Wormy, I'm going to guess. I am Buggy the Bug. Well, of course it was going to be Buggy the Bug. And I was put here by the developers to tell you they care about your feedback. <laughs> so if you encounter any bugs, please let them know and they'll work extra hard to fix them. Yep on it. That's it. That's my whole purpose. You'll never see me again. Ah, oh, isn't it unfair how all the other characters have such long dialogues and multiple cameos, but you learn nothing about me. You don't get to know about my love for 13th century Greek architecture, or how I make a really good walnut babka. I'm very impressed. No, this is the only purpose I serve. This is my life now. So you know what? I hope you do encounter bugs. Yeah, I hope you encounter all the bugs and hate the mean developers. <laughs> Buggy out. Oh, buggy. No, don't feel like that. I'm going to rain on you a bit now. There we go. Cover you in rain. You're not bothered. And it's just dried up. Okay, what does this do? This has got to have some purpose. Can we rain on that thing? I'm just thinking that, you know, a game like this, I imagine there are bits around the place where if we rain on certain things, we might unlock stuff. But no. Okay, well, let's go here. This looks like a school of some sort. Looks like a school kind of playground or whatever. Oh, hello there, little cloud. Hello, old woman. Do you often speak to clouds? I'm just your friendly neighbourhood grandma. Every story needs one. I'm here to tell you about the magical exit sign. When you complete all the required objectives, it will light up. You can end the level by hovering above it. This way, if you don't want to complete the extra objectives, you can leave early. Don't worry, no one will be upset. Just remember to have fun. Anyways, I will let you go now. Surely such a well-mannered cloud like yourself wouldn't be up to any silly pranks. Uh, no, of course not. And I, a respectable grandma, wouldn't just stand and watch. Okay, no, reminiscing about my own youthful days and school hijinks. Hee <laughs> hee, have fun. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Um, oh my goodness. Right, we need to overflow a volcano, wake a sleeping teacher, explode a chemistry set, and soak all the backpacks, and chase art kids into the classroom at the end of the hall. Okay. Okay, there's, there's quite a lot to unpack there. Right, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Let's float around... Um, what's this? Oh, there's a volcano. Okay, so can we explode the volcano? Right, the volcano has exploded. Right now, where are the... Hang on, what was it? Art kids. Chase the art kids into the classroom at the end of the hall. Wake a sleeping teacher and explode the chemistry set. Um, okay, sleeping teacher. That should be easy enough to sort out. Ah, there, you. Boop. And go right a bit of chaos all the kids are running around okay <laughs> it's all fine ah we can replenish our water ah okay that's good um right we're just gonna go and cause some chaos in here do, 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 do. raining on all you people ah there was a backpack there was a backpack there right okay let's get you lot wear as well because because i love cloud right rain on you there you go there you go fan hi right everyone's running around like lunatics let's just go and replenish our water quick lovely Right, so we've worked the teacher. Explode the chemistry set. And yes, yeah, so... Cool. Ah, there's a backpack. There you go. That's one backpack done. So that's two, I think, now. Any backpacks in here? There's one there. That's three. Let's also just rain in this room. Oh, crikey. They're very they're very steadfast in this room. They're, they're, not, they're not going for it in that room. What about in this room? 
Oh my goodness me, they've all gone completely bonkers. Ah, there's a chemistry set. There. Blow that up. Um, why have we got magic rain going on? What is, what is going on here? Ah, is that a chemistry set? Ah, that's red. Oh, hang on. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle of some description. Uh, yellow plus... Ah, okay, right. On the wall there, it says yellow plus blue equals skull. So there's yellow. And then get blue. Add a bit of blue. Should equal skull. Yay, we've blown the thing up. Okay. <laughs> This is very silly. Right, we're yellow again now. Let's see if we can find the backpacks. There's a backpack. How many have we got? Four. Four out of six. There might be one in here, possibly. Ah, we've got to chase these kids. Okay, yeah. Chase them into the, uh, along the, into a different classroom along the hall or something, I think it said. You, kid, move. There we go. Move. Keep going. Keep going. Keep Oh, there's a backpack. There's a backpack. Okay, I think we need one more backpack and that's it. Uh, okay, I think we need... Oh, hang on. Have we just made the walls go yellow? Oh, we can sort of paint the walls a bit. All the things are going different. Right, okay, do this. And then into there we go. So the only thing we need to do is find one backpack. Where is the one backpack? That's it. Where is it? Is it somewhere really obscure? Is it somewhere like right in the corner of the park or something odd? There's the way out. We don't want to do that yet. We might as well find the one remaining backpack. Come on, backpack. Where are you? Also, can we rain on you a bit just for fun? There we go. Uh, is it in here? I don't, ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. And boom. Everything is done. And yeah, now we don't auto leave the level, I suppose, when we've completed the main objectives. We can then choose. But of course, because we completed all of them, we're now done. Uh, okay. There you go. So we get ourselves some glasses. Right you are. Okie doke. That was very good. Five stars on that one. Uh, okay, what's this? Don't know what that is. Can't quite work out what this level is. A mosh pit. Rack up as many points as you can before you run out of water. Experiment with different ways of earning points. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, we've not got infinite water, but yeah, if we rain on all the people, what if we rain on all the people down here? We're about, what, half water? Try and rain on people. Uh, you guys over there haven't been rained on, so yeah, we've got... It'd be nice to get to 30,000 points, wouldn't it? That'd be good. Can we rain on that equipment? Uh, can we rain... Oh, hang on. We can knock things over. We can just physically go and knock things over with our cloudy way. There we go. Yeah, this is fine. This is all fine, right? There's some people there that we haven't rained on, I think. Rain on those people. Lovely. Rain on that. Rain on that. Take that off the wall. Someone down there we've not rained on before. Yeah, 100 points. You've not been rained on. You've not been rained on. The band have all been rained on. Those people haven't been rained... Ah, oh, we're out of water. We didn't get over 30,000, but there we go. 29,190. The leading person got what? What? Really? We got 29,190. The leading person, the, glo uh, the global leaderboard got 1,384,735. Well, I think our score was pretty good. Anyway, moving on. Let's not look at the leaderboard. Just, just, just carrying on. Here we go. Let's go over here. Um, What's this? A warehouse of some description or other. Oh, a warehouse. Burn it all. Oh, okay. Simple as that, eh? Um, okay, how can we burn things? Like this? And that looks like it should explode, possibly. Ah, oh, no, we're grey now. Oh, hang on. There's a kind of rocket thing just there. Does that do anything? Ah, there's an electrical kind of thing that's sparking over there. Imagine raining on that's going to be quite handy. Um, yeah, how do we... How do we burn things in here? There's, there are, there's like little rockets and things, but I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Are we supposed to knock those off? Hang on. Can we knock that off? Are we supposed to disrupt the person? Let's hope we can top up on our water, so that's quite good. So yeah, hang on, hang on. There we go. Right, top tub. Can we rain on you? Right, what happens if we rain on you? What happens if we rain on the car? That's got, hang on, that's got a Y on it. That's got, <laughs> that's got like a sort of a, a half-life kind of sign thing on it. But okay, um, we're just painting the things green at the minute, which is, ah, hang on, hang on. That's sparking quite excessively now. Do we need to work on that? Okay, right. The first proper puzzly aspect of the game has appeared. I'm not entirely sure what to do with this. Oh, this is dribbling. Ah, this is oil. Right, hang on. Hang on. So we've stocked up on water. Now we need to go over here, become oil, 
And then I imagine the oil is then going to... Ah, there we go. Yes. Now we can just make big... Oh, and the rockets are firing and everything. <laughs> this is very silly. Right, there we go. Lots of oil everywhere, everybody. Yep, there we go. Right, can we get down... Can we get oil down to this half-life sign thing? Because I would like to see what happens with that, if I'm honest. I want to know what happens with that. Do we get a special objective for that or anything? No. Um, hang on, hang on. We're just stuck up on water again. Come back this way. Turn back into oil. Because, yes, of course, we have those things that are not yet uh, on fire. So do that. And then also do that to those as well. Because those things look like they need to be on fire also. And I think once those things are done, there we go. All sorted. I kind of feel like there was probably something in that level that we missed, like a secret thing. But okay, that's fine. We set lots of things on fire. That's always that's always a thing that a cloud's like a cloud likes to do. Right, what have we got? That looks like some sort of giant cake that leads us over to this little bit over here, which looks like it's cold. Or we could go further that way toward what looks like a farm. Let's go this way. We might as well go and finish these two little bits over here. So yeah, right. What's this about? There's a giant cake. Oh. Okay, we're getting the story. Oh, it must be so fun to just be a cloud. So that's the kid saying that, I think. Be mean to people who aren't nice. Oh, something on your mind? No. Yeah. There is this kid at school who always picks on me and didn't invite me to his birthday. Oh, I'm sorry. It sounds like he's a bit of a bully. You know, I'm sure Cloud, you could teach him a lesson. Ah, okay. So we've gone back to the little story between the granddad and the grandkid. Oh, this is nice. Uh, set all presents on fire. <laughs> okay, fine. So, set all the presents on fire. I mean, that's getting them wet, right? How are we going to set things on fire in this level? There must be something which is an ignity thing. Ah, right, there you go. The car. The car is a thing. Um, Right, so if we just lay some oil down this way, that's going to set all of the... Oh, he's putting them out, but hang on. We can lay a trail of oil like that. That can go across like that. So that'll slowly burn that, which is nice. And then we need to come up here, burn that there. So that fire will hopefully go that way. Come on, come on, fire, go that way. Burn under the swings, that way. There we go. Nice path to that. Okay, so that's good. Where do we stock up our water? Okay, like so. Is there an objective to fill the pool or anything silly? No, that just stocks up on water again. Right, back to the car to become oil again. Okay, so now we're oil. So let's go from here, work our way, say along. No, that's not going to work, is it? Round here and along here and to there. Oh no, we've been put out. That got put out. Oh, hang on, right, let's just try and keep it going. Let's try and keep the fire going over here. So come round this way. Oh, we're going to run out of oomph, I think. Then we're going to run out of oomph. There we go. All of these things. Burn all of those things. Where's the last present we need to get done? Hang on. Is it down here somewhere? No. Where's the final present? I think everything should be fairly crispy by now. There's... What's that? It's like a saxophone or something. But yeah, we're out of... We're out of water. So stuck up there. Where is the... What? Are we on one left? Final present. Seven out of eight. That one looks pretty burnt to me, so I don't think it's that one. Oh, it's right there. It's right next to the actual thing. <laughs> this should be this should be fairly straightforward, I would have thought. Ta-da! There we go. There we go. We've ruined a birthday party. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Morally bereft. Um, ah. However, I do like our hat. I like our hat, but, you know, let's, let's try some different things out, shall we? Let's go for decor and hats. We've just unlocked a party hat. That's fun. An accessories, a bomb, some weird glasses, a guitar, a guitar, a crowbar. Do you know what? Let's have that. Oh, look! The crowbar. The right cloud in the wrong place can make all the difference. That is very much a Half-Life reference, or Half-Life 2, I think. Okay, that's exciting. Let's have the guitar. Let's have the guitar. I like the fact this game is full of, <laughs> full of loads of references to loads of other things. This is wonderful. Right, and then we'll head over this way and go to this kind of cold looking level what's going on over here we've got a mission i don't think we've got a mission 
They've not got goals. What do we do here? Um, we just make puddles. We're not doing anything. Oh! Oh my goodness me, it's Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> okay, sneak to the compound. Do not let the guards spot you. <laughs> this, this is brilliant. Right, okay, this is Metal Gear Solid. This is Metal Gear Solid. Um... I'm kind of tempted to just get in the way of one of the one of the guards just to see if they do the Meh! kind of thing, you know, with the exclamation mark above their head. Right, go this way, go this way, go this way. Oh, hide here, hide here. There's a guard coming that way. We've got to sneak through without the guard. Oh, no! We've been seen. We've been seen. Oh, I've been seen twice. We're a terrible spy. Terrible spy. Right, run and hide, run and hide, run and hide, run and hide. Oh, no, I think we've been seen by everybody. Um, do you sometimes pick off your belly button? What was it? Oh, no, 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 we're, be we're, being, we're being found, we're being found, we're being found, quick. <laughs> oh, it's all gone wrong, it's all gone wrong. We're, we're, we're not very good at this, are we? Right, hang on. Run up here. They can only just see us. I wonder if we can make the ground slip here or something, if we just rain as we go. Okay, right, you're almost there, Cloudy. Where do we need to go? Well, there's, there's, what's that thing? It's waterproof, you'll have to think of something else. Uh, we've, we've been seen. <laughs> I think we've been spotted. Oh, no. Does he say the thing? did the thing. They did the snake, snake, snake thing. If you've never played Metal Gear Solid, that will be completely mean nothing to you. But yes, he did the snake, snake, snake thing, but with Cloud. Um, Okay, right. So the goal is to destroy the mega weapon and soak all of the guards, but don't get spotted. Well, how do you soak the guards without being spotted? How are you supposed to do that? Because the guards will see you. How? What? How are we supposed to do that? Yeah, 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 hello. Yeah, got us up the anti-cloud weapon. <laughs> Sneak to the compound, don't let the guards spot you, but somehow soak the guards. I don't quite know how that works, but okay. Right, can we... Where are you going? You're going around that way. So can we soak you by just sort of creeping up on you and getting you wet like that? And then running away and hiding? Can we go down here? Because now we can't soak them, surely. Surely we can't soak the guards. Oh, there we go, we've got two of them. We've got two guards. Soaked, I think. Do we get the do we get the options up yet? No. We do need to find a way to destroy the machine as well. We need to destroy the big machine, the anti-cloud machine at the end there. Okay, Harold, hang on. Hang on. We can do this. We can get you done. Ha 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 ha. Right, okay. There it is. But we are going to have to do something different with it. Because, yes, we can't just... Ah, there we go. There we go. Right. We are now oil. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Can we create a wall of fire around us? That would be good. A wall of fire. We're blowing up the machine. Okay. My God, you did it, you crazy thing. You crazy person. Now fly high. Rain, rain on their parade. Ah, now we get to soak them. I see, I see, I see. Right, okay, there we go. You're done. Right, where are the others? Where are the other guards? Come on, guards. Come on, guards. It's time to become soaked. Wherever you might be. There's something on fire down there. Is that a guard? Don't know. Rain did it anyway. Uh, guards. Any more guards? Where are they all? Um, they can't be that hard to spot. Ah, there's one. Okay, so get you wet. How many more are there? There's one more guard that we need to go and get. They should have their light on, I think. So it should be... Ah, there. There you are. Hello. Oh, you're trying to run away. No, 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 no. It's not going to work. Apart from I've completely lost you. And... Boom. Brilliant. So do not get spotted. Had a cross through it. We didn't manage to do that, but we did destroy the mega weapon and we soaked all of the guards. But yeah, we did not get whatever the sort of little uh, thing was, the hat or whatever, because yeah, we didn't meet all the objectives. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm happy enough with that. <laughs> I'm happy enough to play a little bit of, of Metal Gear Solid <laughs> Cardboard Gear Cloud. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Right. Over to the farm. I imagine this is going to be more ordinary. Destroy the yellow wheat, corrode all the vehicles, so called the humans, scare off all the crows. Okay, I and mean, there's a crow just there, so away with you, crow face. So that's one gone. And then can we corrode this vehicle? Is, is, is that vehicle corroded enough? No. Okay, so called the humans. Well, that's nice and easy. Um, you're a human. You love cloud. Hello. Hi, nice to meet a fan. Uh, right, just while we're here, just top up. Top up on water. Get you soaking wet. Why not? You. Soak you for a human. Ah, there's a pile of something outside the door. 
which looks like it might be acid or some such stuff. So yeah, okay, fine. Right, and then, oh, every time we do a thing, we're playing a guitar. <laughs> we're doing our guitar noise. <laughs> right, okay. There we go. Scare off that crow. Uh, where are the other crows? Got to scare them away as well. Stuff on water. Oh, there, there's loads of them. The actual map is quite big. Okay, right. Scare you away. And there should be some more humans as well. Can we go over there? No, we can't go over there. But we can go over this stuff. Some sort of corrosive acidy kind of stuff. So yeah, let's pop that over this car and we've melted it. Okay, right, so we're now an acid rain cloud. Okay, <laughs> you know, like normal. Uh, that thing, that thing can go away with you. Corrode you as well. There must be some more vehicles somewhere around. Um, does that count as a vehicle? Don't know. Rain on it anyway. Destroy all that stuff. Uh, is there a vehicle left? Hang on, hang on. How many vehicles are there? Three out of five. Really? There's two more vehicles? They must be somewhere else. Are they over here somewhere? They're not vehicles. That's not a vehicle. Uh, oh, oh, right. We can go out here. We can go all the way out here. Is there something out here that we know? Hang on. Can we, can we melt you with... We might have possibly just killed that guy. Right, okay, we might have just killed a man. Oh, no, it's fine. It's okay. We're okay. What's this thing doing here? It's like a big rock in the road. Where's the... Ah, there's a vehicle. Obliterate you. And then... No, there we go. Right, we'll get you. That's all the human soaked. That's all the vehicles done. Right, so there is a crow. Ah, there's a crow. Okay, bye-bye, crow. Do, do, do. There's one more. Ah, it's on the thing. It's on there. Scare that crow away. And now it's just destroy the yellow wheat. Okay. <laughs> I imagine we use the acid to do that. So where is the yellow wheat? Here it is. Okay. Destroy the yellow wheat. Away with you, yellow wheat. Imagine that's it. Yep, looking like it is. Destroy that bit. Destroy that bit. Get those bits done. This is, this is wonderful. I think that's it. Are we done? I think we're done. Well, there we go. We've successfully done that. And our decor is, whatever that is, a face of some description? Is that a face? I don't know. Should we go and have a look? Let's go back to our thing and check what that was. If we pop over to here and then go and have a look at face. Have we unlocked a special face? No. What was the thing we just unlocked then? What was that? Decor. Um, oh, it's a, it's a little, it's a chicken hat. Okay. <laughs> we can have a chicken hat. No, I quite like the party hat. I like the party hat. Let's get rid of the guitar. Let's have... Um, let's have, let's have the crowbar. Let's have the Gordon Freeman-esque crowbar with our little party hat on. There we go. I quite like that. Oh, look at our little cloud with his party hat on, ready to go, you know, breaking and entering. Okay, the next level puts us back in the desert. Okay, what's going on here then? Oh, another little story bit coming on. Wait a minute. So Cloudy just rains on anyone they want and no one stops them. Oh, uh, of course not. So that's the granddad voice thing. You see, you just haven't uh, met Cloudy's nemesis. Oh no. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Yes, exactly. There was one man who absolutely hated clouds. The mean old dastardly uh, Dr. Dry Spell. Good thinking, granddad, on the spot there. Ooh, I tell you, he was one angry son of a person. Angry grouch. What happened next? Okay, let's find out what happened next. Dr. Dry Spell. Oh no, there's a baddie. What is that which I see? A stupid cloud approaching me. Oh, and he speaks in riddles. Do you not know you are my bane? If you're confused, I shall explain. Caught in rain once when I was eight, from hence was born all my hate. When I was 12, I took a bath, which only few further fueled my wrath. I said no more, I won't be wet. No more rain, no more sweat. I'm Dr. Dry Spell of villainous cause, and you have fallen into my paws. This is where you meet your doom. Turrets go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, get through the canyon and soak the generator. Don't run out of water. Don't get hit. Oh, crikeys. Um, okay. So those things are going to come and fire at us or something. Nothing's happening yet. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, right. They're, they're locking onto us and firing at us. Okay, right, fine. This is This is all okay. Right, we're not going to get hit. We're not going to get hit. This is fine. Right, go that way. Come this way. Come that back off from this. Dodge that one. Right, there's one coming toward us there. Dodge that. Right, go. 
Through here. Now go through this way. <gasps> Dodge that one. Come around this way. Come around this way. This is fine. I've not run out of water to use any water, I don't think. Come around this way. Come around this way. Come around this way. Get the generator where? Blow it up. Perfect. Okay, that was easy than I thought. There you go, Dr. Dry Spell. Yeah. Oh, but look, the decor is... We've unlocked glasses with a kind of monocle built in. Okay. So now we know... We have a nemesis. I imagine they will crop up again. Hello, how are you? What fantastic progress you are making, young cloud. Ho, ho, ho. One day you'll be as big as me. Did you know that some clouds have the power of thunder? It is possible to learn this. Oh, is it possible to learn this power? You might ask. Yes. Well, yes, you can purchase new powers with cloud books. And you can obtain cloud books by trading in thunder coins. This is amazing. And thunder coins come in packs of 12. You can purchase for just... <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> there are no currencies or microtransactions here. Of course they're not. You unlock things simply by playing the game. What a concept. Oh, it's all got a bit meta. Okay. Right. So are we now going to unlock thunder powers or something like that? Unlock the thunder ability. Thunderlicious. Big dramatic kind of music going on. Okay, try it now. How do we do it? What is it? Z or... Oh, N. Oh, Z or N press, it says there. Okay, I mean, do we put it over you? Yes, okay, we'll put it over that thing. We've blown that up. We've blown that up. Okay, right, so we can blow stuff up with kind of thundery powers. Okay, <laughs> the thunder theatre. Okay, out into the woods we go. What is going on over here? So call the humans in the spoopy forest road. Ah, they've got umbrellas. They've got pesky umbrellas. They've come prepared. Okay, right. So, I imagine it's going to be time to deploy lightning. Ah, that gets rid of their that gets rid of their umbrella. Okay, do we have a number of charges of lightning? I don't know. Well, right, that's you done. Okay, so boom over you. That's got you two done. And it's dark. It's dark now. There's somebody in there. There's a person in there. Okay, can we blast that out? They've come out. Okay, that's quite handy. We get them where... Oh! Oh, there we go. Simple as that. And the decor is we've unlocked a little umbrella, which is a bit weird, but okay, fine. What's next? Right, here we go. It looks like a campsite. Let's have a little look at this. It looks very much like a campsite. Ah, hello, Froggy. Cloudy, cloudy, hell. This is the pond where I grew up. The pond where I have my first crush and bought my first in <laughs> Nintendo Switch. And now these humans, they're invading our lands with their tents and fires. Do you know how flammable trees are? I have to hide my wife, hide my kids. Ribbit. Please scare them off, Cloudy. Your only hope, Ribbit. Okay, so burn all the tents, put out the campfires, feed the bear. Um, where's the bear? That might be a good start. Where is the bear? Um, the bear would be in a cave, I would imagine. Oh, this level's huge. This map is gigantic. Um, right, the bear is there. Oh, no, that's not a bear. That's a pig. Uh, there's some people. Oh, hang on. Well, we can put the campfires out. Just put that out. It's ruined your fun. We'll soak you as well, because why not? <laughs> um, okay. Got the got the pig wet for no reason. We need to find where the bear might be. And I don't know how we exactly feed the bear. Do we direct people toward the bear? Oh, there's the bear. Okay. Do we? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Get you two wet for whatever reason. There we go. Sploosh. Oh, hang on. That was an optional objective. Ruin a beautiful date. <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. There we go. We'll water those flowers. Uh, right. How do we get somebody or something up here? Is it the pig? Are we supposed to direct that pig up that way? Is that what we're supposed to do? Kind of. Do, do we? Can we thunder shock this? Yeah. There we go. There we go. We can try and scare the pig this way. Oh no 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 that way. There we go. I've set fire to a tree. Okay. The the tree's a bit on fire now. Right, hang on. Hang on. Do that. Yes. Go that way, and then up here. Yep. Yeah, go this way. Go. Move, pig. No, 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 no. Up here. This way. That's it. Up there, pig. Up this way. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And then up this way. So boom there. Another tree on fire, but I'm sure it's fine. And then run this way toward the bear. No. Does the bear not want to eat the pig? I thought maybe that's what we were supposed to do. Uh, and that was that was what we were supposed to do. We fed the bear. It had the pig. I thought we were going to have to do some sort of uh, picnic basket type thing with the bear, but okay. Right, where are the rest of the um, the little campfires? Right, we'll do that first. So there we go. That's that done. And then how many campfires have we got left? One more. And then we need to burn all the tents. Okay, right. Put that out. And I think we could probably just go boom, boom. Uh, oh, 
What's that? Soak all the humans. Oh, okay. New objective. Get everybody soaked. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you do not look like you are soaked yet, humans. Come here. Let me rain upon you. Okay, I think that's some of them wet. So two humans, two tents. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. You, you're not soaked. You are now. They go. Enjoy. Uh, and one more person. It's not them down there, I don't think. We got them. They are soaked. They're done. So there's one more person we've not got wet. And then also, there are some tents that we need to go and annihilate. Ah, right. Hang on. You're the person. So, boom. That's that done. And tent on fire. A little bit crispy now. And then there is one more tent, I think it says. Where is the final the final tent? There's those three on fire. Um, let's check round this way. Was it over here? It was down here. There's a guy down here, wasn't there? Of course there was. Yeah, there you go. And there's your tent. Which, is it not already crispified? It is now. There we go. Right, well, there you go. That's, that's ruined all the humans kind of camping trip. Splendid. And we've unlocked a kind of frog hat thing. Hang on. We might have to go and put the frog hat thing on. Hang on, hang on. Where, where, where's the frog hat? Take me to decor, please. Yep. And hats. Can we have a frog? Oh, froggy. For his valiant effort in protecting the frog nation, Cloud has been gifted a little froggy buddy. We're, we're going with that. We're going with our frog friend. Right, come on, froggy. On to the next. Okay, now we get the choice. We can either head north into Umbrella City, which is not a good name for a cloud, really, is it? That's that's not going to be good because people are going to be hiding under their umbrellas. Or do you want to go over here and just complete this little sort of optional thing? I think we'll go over here because, you know, it's a one-off thing. Let's have a look at what's going on. Oh, hello there. Hello, little cloud. It's good to see you again. Hello, old one with a chicken on your head. It's been much too sunny for much too long. I'm glad we'll finally get some rain. You know why I love rain so much? Why, yeah, it was my plants grow, of course. Rain is just wonderful. In fact, I used to get wet all the time when I was younger. But oh my, I have trouble of a different sort today. Maybe you can help. Looks like my sheepy babies have escaped their pen. Would you be a dear and chase them back in? Thanks, sweetie. Okay. Do not let the black sheep get in, but herd the sheep into the pen. <laughs> um, with water or with or with lightning? I don't, I don't think they care too much about that, do they? Hang on. Boom. Yeah. Boom. You go in. No. Boom. Go, go that way. Boom. Lightning. There we go. One in. Okay. But the black one not to go in. Okay. Boom. And you go. No, 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 not that way. This, this, go this way. And now in. Yes. Okay. Two in and a bit of whatever that is, but that's fine probably. Right. You there. Now you, no, back this way. Yes, 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 yes. That's a third one in. Right, get you. I mean, I am, yeah, possibly she should have done this on her own. Because <laughs> I'm annihilating the farm. I'm just destroying the place. Right, that's that one in. There's this one here and that's it. So you one left to get in. But the black sheet, oh, hang on. No, 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 you look like you're going in. Boom. Away with you. Right, and come this way. Yep, yep, yep. This is good, this is good, this is good. In you go. Is that it? Yes. Good stuff, Cloudy. Good stuff. Okay. And we've unlocked a little sheep decor, which is nice. It's not as good as our little froggy friend, though. Okay. Let's head over to this place, then. Into Umbrella Town, or whatever it was. Rack up as many points as you can within the time limit. Okay. So it's just a points gathering exercise, and there's a time limit. Um. Okay. I mean, people are probably a good... People are probably a good thing. Ah! We don't have to worry about water, because we can top up. So we can just go around the place... And just soak loads of people. Right, okay. This is all fine. Uh, okay, boom. And boom. Right, okay. Get you wet. Get you... This, this, when, it's not as easy to score points on this level as it was on the other one. Can we get the washing wet? Multi-soak. <laughs> okay, hang on. Go down this way. Let's go all the way down here, look. Then we need to go and stock up on water. So get more water. Thank you. Right, down here. Okay, electrocute you with, with lighting and then do that. Can we do that? No, anything going on there. Get you where... Oh, there's something on there. Oh, yeah, you go. Missiles. That's got to be a good thing. Uh, boom. Get you soaked where? There we go. You can be wet as well. Uh, right, okay. Police car. Do we need to get that wet? Not doing anything. But you get you where? What's that? What's that thing? <gasps> oh, my goodness me. Oh, hang on. Now we can... Now, oh, we've only got... Oh, no, time's paused. Time has paused. Ah, 
Okay, this is good stuff, but time is not going to pause long enough for us to actually make the most of this, I don't think. Yeah, we are burning a car. I think that is a, that's a poor showing of points there. I don't think that's very good. <laughs> don't think we did very well there. Don't put the global leaderboard on. Oh no, somebody got 39,000 points. <laughs> we got 2,000. Joe White's fine, moving on. Let's do this one here. There's a little church and a pond. It looks like a sort of a nice quaint sort of market town square sort of thing. Let's see what's going on here. Raining bread. Right? Wasn't expecting that. Mark every human. Knock everything down. Okay. Knock everything down. Okay. I mean, I assume we just, do we use lightning for this? And they are knocking things over of their own accord. We'll just, we're lightning all these things. Can we lightning the... We can't lightning the bench. Oh, yeah, we can. We can lightning the bench. Some crazy physics going on there. Um, okay, Mark or... Oh, hang on, what? Um, okay, right, we're raining bread. <laughs> I see <laughs> a massive crowd of birds. <laughs> and they are covering the humans in, um, in excrement, in bird poop. Okay, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is amazing. Right, okay, fine. Get loads of bird things on you. Uh, we need to knock down three things. There are four people who've not been marked with the bird poop. Um, where are they hiding? Where are you fortunate people? You, you've not been marked with the bird poop, so you can get some poop on you. There we go. What have we not knocked over? Um, ah, okay, we've got all the people. Now we just need to knock things over. I mean, does this count? These things, do they, do they count as needing to be knocked over? Uh, ah, there's something there. We knock that down. How many things have we got to knock down? Uh, oh no! Oh no, we've knocked everything down. It's the humans. There's one person who has not got put in. I can see them. I can see them. You need to have bird poop on you, sir. There we go. And yeah, I think that's done. There we go. Oh, that was certainly unusual. We rained bread, which is something that I was not expecting. This looks like we might be inside. It looks like some sort of office. There's desks and a photocopier and stuff. Oh my goodness me, we're inside. This is brilliant. We get to trash an office. Oh, and the people are brilliant. Unbound Creations <laughs> presents. It's like a little game intro. Okay. Right. Presents. Yeah, water machine. Very nice. There's a person. Hello. That's a photocopier doing some stuff. Yeah, people just busy at work. There we go. Is this the intro of the office or something? Yes, I imagine it was. The cloud. <laughs> okay, episode one. Where in the cloud soaks all the office workers. <laughs> Is that our goal? Just soak everybody. Okay, fine. That's you done. We'll get you as well. This is this is wonderful. Get you. Um, okay, come over this way. We'll get you done. Oh, can we can we blow that up just for fun? Maybe we should take out all of the electronic things. Because I think that's probably something that... Maybe that's an extra... Is that a mission or something? A secret mission? We'll get you. There we go. How many more have we got? Three more to get. Okay, where are the three? They must be... Ah, they're down here in this corner. Hello. And uh, you. Hello. And I think we're done. I think we have destroyed the office. Episode two. We're in the cloud. Brews and delivers hot coffee to everyone. Can we pretend it's tea? Fill all mugs with fresh coffee. Okay. <laughs> Where are the mugs? Okay, there's one there. So, boop. Boop. Is that a mug? I thought it might have been a mug. Maybe it's not a mug. Uh, that looks like a mug. Oh, no, we're raining water. Hang on, where's... We need to find the coffee machine. I imagine we go over the coffee machine and then it turns... Ah, there, there, there. Yes, there we go. Right, so there's... There's coffee. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're pretending it's tea, however. Come on, superior drink. Science proved it. Right, there's coffee. And, oh, we're knocking things off the walls. Right, that's definitely a cup. So there we go. So that's one cup done over there. There's a cup. Coffee. Oh, sorry, I've kind of got coffee on you. Sorry, tea, whatever it is. That there. More stuff on people. It's fine. It's fine. Unless we've ruined that as well. We away with you books and shelves. Um, there's, a, there's a mug there. Drop that onto there. There's one there. So, yeah, very nice. How many have we got? One more. One more mug. Is there one on your desk? No, there is not. Where is the final mug? In here somewhere? No, but let's just put coffee on there anyway, because why wouldn't we do that? Um, is it in here? Oh, no, hang on. There's something there. There's something there. Don't know if that was supposed to be filled up or whatever. Um, oh, there's more over here. There's more. Oh, there we go. Yep. 
Boop. Sorted. Okay, so we're in episode three of The Cloud. We're in The Cloud trips a worker and spills the chilli. <laughs> what? Make the worker slip and drop the chilli. Okay. Right. We've achieved that goal then. The chilli has been spilt. <laughs> So four, we're in the cloud starts a fire. This is this is amazing. Right, start a fire and evacuate the office. Um okay, do we do an electrical fire? No, that's just broken the light, I think. Um okay, let's go over here. What's that in there? Is that a cake in there or something? I want the cake. Ah, okay, this looks promising. This looks broken. So what is this? So that we're now Oily, are we? Is that what we are? Yeah, okay, right, so now we're oil. So we're raining oil, so we need to find something combustible. We need to find an ignitable thing. Ah, yes, there is a birthday cake just here, and there is some goopy stuff just there as well, so we need to have gone all that way, but never mind. Right, so we'll start a fire in here. There we go, lots of fire going on. And yeah, that, that's quite a lot of fire. That That's an awful lot of fire going on. Okay, right, and now, we need to evacuate the office. Right, so they're all leaving. They're all leaving. Everyone evacuates the office. The end <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> that, that was tremendous. That was brilliant. Oh, we get a mug. Okay, hang on. We're changing. We're going over to the mug, please. Yep, absolutely. We're always going to get a mug. Decor, accessories. Yeah, world's best cloud. Brilliant. Yeah, we'll have that, please. Yeah, froggy in a mug. Life is good. Now we have ourselves a bit of a choice. We can either go up here to whatever that is, some sort of hospital by the look of it, or we can carry on over this way to a house on a little sort of intersection. Let's go up here. We might as well complete this whilst we're here. I oh, know, I think it leads on to another thing anyway. Cloudy Hill. Oh, I see. <laughs> It's gone a bit Silent Hill, but it's Cloudy Hill. Sneak up behind humans and scare them. Do not get spotted. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, right. It, it has gone a bit silent here. Right, where are the, uh, where are the humans? Right, don't get spotted. So, ba-boom! Right, scared one human. Um, and, yeah, still on, do not get spotted. So that's all fine. We're all good. Where are all, ah, right, there's a human. Boom! Surprise! There's not one in there. Ah, there's one up here. There's a human up here. Hello, human. There we go. Boom. Scared you. That's, what, three of ten, was it? Okay. So there should be seven more around the place somewhere, but I've got to be careful I don't get caught. Um, Where are they? Is there one in there? No, there's one over there. There's one over there. Coming this way. No, go the other way. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Go the other way. Don't want to get caught. Away with you, pesky human. Right. Boom there. That did not scare you at all. You didn't scare them because of a massive load of lightning happening behind you. Okay. <laughs> You're made of stern stuff, human. Oh, no. Oh, no. There are a couple of them. Right, hang on. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Turn around, turn around. There we go. Right, boom. Right, that scared you. I just wasn't close enough, I don't think. There was somebody over here. Definitely someone this way. Oh, this creepy noise is happening. Right, scare that person. Is there anyone in there? Nope. Uh, ah, there's somebody, ah, there's somebody there, boom, scare you, and somebody is in, oh no, they're coming this way, they're coming this way, hide, hide, there's a person there as well, don't go and find your torch, right, where are they, there's a torch there, so we have to stay out the torch like that, but they were in here, where about, ah, ha, ha, right, okay, boom, scare you, how many have we got left, three, okay, we need to find three people, we're going to stock up on water. We haven't used any water yet. It's all been fun. It's been a very rainless level. There's been lots of thunder going on and lightning and stuff. Right, let's go down into here. Can we find the other people? You've already been scared. We'll scare you again because, you know, why not? Why wouldn't we? Uh, let's come around this way. This room is big. Ah, there's something going on down here. What is over in here? Oh, it's very light in this room. Don't like it in there. It's too well lit. Okay, let's come through to here. <laughs> oh, I don't like the scratchy noise. The scratchy noise is, is horrible. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't get, don't get seen, don't get seen, don't get seen. Cloudy, run away this way. And boom, behind you, brother. They've dropped their torch. That's the eighth person we've got, I think. Uh, ah, there's somebody up there. Somebody up that way. There's a couple of people here, actually. Boom and boom. Right, so that's nine people. And I think the last one is there. 
So let's just get this done. Boom! And there we go. We've scared 10 humans and we didn't get a scene. <laughs> ah, this is brilliant. And the deco we've unlocked is a little... What is that, a radio of some description? I'm not sure. Do you know what? No, we're sticking with our mug. Okay, following on from Cloudy Hill, it looks like we have some sort of restaurant type level. Let's go and have a look at this. What's going on here? Cloudy, Cloudy, help, it's you again. I just learned this fine European style establishment puts ketchup on their pizza. Oh my goodness me, that, that shouldn't be allowed. The dough already has tomato paste on it. How can one put tomato on top as well? What is this, a tomato sandwich? It's inconceivable, it offends the senses. I'm quite offended. You have to teach my lesson. Let's make a mess, rub it. Okay, what have we got to do? Fill all the wine glasses with something gross, make a mess in the kitchen, make the waiter drop food, trap someone in the dark, okay. <laughs> make the waiter drop food. It's got to be easy to do, hasn't it? There's some waiters over here. Are you gonna go pick up food from the kitchen or something? I don't know what you're getting there. Um, okay, what if we just what if we just put water under your feet? Oh, that didn't help at all. Where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? We can make a mess in the kitchen. That's nice and straightforward. Here we go. Um, right. How about we just... What if we rain on all this stuff here? Go this way, because that's going to ruin everything. We'll get all the all the, all the the staff, all the serving... Uh, the, sorry, the kitchen staff soaked. There we go. And then, what if we... I don't know, fire a lightning bolt in the middle there. And there. And there. Ooh. That might be quite a good thing. That looks like it might explode. Yeah, that sort of exploded a bit. Um, no, it didn't explode a bit. Hang on. Can we cook that fish? That fish is now cooked. But we're not making a we're not making a mess in the kitchen. Oh, what's that? What is that just there? I don't know what that is. Why are we not making a mess in the kitchen? Hang on, hang on. Where does this wire go? There's a, a suspicious wire here. Let's follow this wire along. Where is this wire going? Is this something we can... Ah, here we go. What's this going to do? Um, can we get water on that or something? Can we do that? Ah, hang on. What if we then do that? Does that do something in the kitchen? There's electricity flowing through there now. So if we then go all the way over here, follow this wire back, that thing should be on. Okay, rain on it. Power. Yes, there we go. The thing is spinning around and it's making a mess of whatever was in there, presumably the dough. Right, there we go. Kitchen is destroyed. Lovely, lovely. Right, waiter bringing out food. Ah, here's a waiter with food. Okay, and boom. I think we made the waiter spill the food by completely annihilating him with a bolt of lightning, but that's fine. And what is it? Fill all the wine glasses with something gross. Okay, what can we find that's undesirable around this place? Um, oh, and no, I don't tell me we're going to fill it with <laughs> toilet water or something like that. No, not in there, I don't think. Anything over here, possibly? Ah, yes. There we go. It's like sort of, uh, yeah, sort of mop, mop water or something. Right, there's a glass. So, boop. Lovely. And we'll just rain on that table anyway, because why not? Boop. There we go. Rain on that table because fun. That table there as well. Why not? That's got a glass on it. Okay, well, that's got a glass on it. Oh, no, we've done that one. How many were there? Ten. Crikey, well, that's four done. That's five done. Um, no one over there. Can we put the candle out? No, okay, that's six. Right, get all that done. Right, we've got plenty of plenty of sort of uh, water in us. So I think we can just head over this way. That's seven. That is... Uh, where's the eight? That's eight. Are people down here? Ah, yeah, okay, there's people down here. There we go, nine, I can see the ninth one there. And the tenth one is just there. So we've done all the main objectives. We haven't trapped anybody in the dark, though. Where's that? How do you, how do you trap somebody in the dark? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Let's go this way. Is there a light switch in the in the toilet that we can that we can do something with? Oh, that man was just in the loo, wasn't he? We just missed our chance. There might be something we can do with the lights or something in here. Yeah, there, look. There. That looks like it powers the lights in here. Okay, we just need to wait for somebody to come in and use the loo, I think. I think we might have missed our chance with that guy there who went in. That is unfortunate. Okay, never mind. What we'll do is we'll wait. We'll just sort of... Well, it sounds a bit weird. We'll lurk around the toilets, but okay, now here we go. Here we go. There's somebody coming in. This is all fine. 
Hello. We're just your average, ordinary, everyday cloud. Right, you're... What are you doing? Washing your hands or whatever. Okay. Can we can we blast that with lightning? There we go. Stuck in the dark. The level is complete. Uh, that was wonderful. <laughs> that was very good. And we've unlocked a little a little bow tie. Can we have that on as well as as well as the other things? I don't know. We'll have to go and check. Oh, the bow tie goes there. It's kind of getting in the way of Froggy. Okay, no, sorry, bow tie. You are very nice. You're a good bow tie, but no, we're gonna stick with the mug, I think. And I think with the fancy restaurant now not being quite as fancy as it once was, on account of, you know, the drinks being filled with mop water and the kitchen having exploded, I think we will finish things up for now with rain on your parade. But this has been completely brilliant. What a wonderful game. I'm pretty sure that this will be in my list of top games of the year when we get to the end of the year. It's just brilliant. It's just wonderful. It's refreshing. It's inventive. It's creative. It's adorable. And there are so many pop culture references. It's just packed full of pop culture stuff and little kind of nods to other things. You know, we had Metal Gear Solid. And we've had The Office. And we've had Silent Hill. It's just been brilliant. It is completely wonderful. And the levels, they aren't challenging. They're not overly challenging, but they're really, really fun and enjoyable. It's just a really nice sort of light-hearted, fun, whimsical game. And I really have enjoyed it. It's been brilliant. I mean, we get to play as a pink cloud with a frog friend what's not to like i also do like the fact that there is a little bit of sort of you know there's a bit of narrative kind of framing going on we're not just a cloud floating about the place causing trouble it is the story being told by a grandparent to a grandchild which i do quite like i like that there's a little bit of background to it so you know the fact that we're flying about the place as a cardboard cloud held up by string that's actually happening you know the granddad is doing that the granddad's doing that and is moving our little sort of cloud friend around so it's all very wonderful it is a brilliant wonderful game i'm really glad we've played it but uh but yeah we'll say farewell to cloudy for now i'm sure cloudy can go around the place and just you know cause some more mischief and mayhem and all that kind of stuff and we'll have a lot of fun doing so but yeah we will finish things up for now now, hopefully you have enjoyed this. I really hope you have, because I've had a lot of fun playing it. It's been brilliant. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Right, if we connect to there and open the door, we're going to get vaporized by this laser. And there's an electronic thing, which looks like a sad kind of Game Boy. <laughs> I'm a tiny little sort of sort of stick person in a in a computer. I can't steer the train as such. And look, we are outside and we're in a gutter. Oh, happy days. Hello, Leaf.